Hello, everybody out there. It is 1 o'clock in the morning on 4-18-2023. Steve McCullough has an announcement about the Knox Bank. Yes, 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 yes. We got it going back. Knox Bank lives again. Um, it is coming back up. Uh, I just got with the team here. Uh, actually, just a little bit um, earlier today. And yes, we got it. We got that not very far off. I'd say, gosh, man, I'd, I'd say possibly even next week we could have it up. Deposits. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to check on deposits for for um, so for uh, pounds and euros. We're basically like right there. We're like right there. Good news for Knox Bank because that's been um, they've been working on that and getting that ready, and now that they are that close to getting it out there for everybody to start making deposits and using Knox Bank, Apollo FinTech's Knox Bank, so close. And on top of that, they've got the um, where should it be? Let's get rid of that for a second. Where's the other one? Right here. This. Yeah, the PMBC Precious Metals Back Currency. And is this just a pre-launch press release? Project is going live now, which is when you announce. I wish everybody would do that. So anyway, and in the past, that would have been the best. <laughs> okay, PMBC, ding dong. Now, Luna One and the big burn, and the really big burn. How big? Oh, pretty much the whole total supply, and along with introducing more for getting the circulating supply down. Tell you this time of night, I could just watch that over and over again and just wow. Multiple projects we launching on the Grove blockchain that offers Grove and USGD as reflections, and one in particular would do so on both chains BSC and GRV. Plus, we'll buy Grove and burn it on both. So, that is great to hear because you know why? This type of mechanism has been around now since BBTF started doing what they were doing. And by taking that rotation around and around, and don't forget too, SafeMoon has the swap and evolve. So you got a lot of different things there. On um, that uh, space video that I had up there, I call that compliance. <laughs> Reason why? I just saw a tweet from John Caroli talking about the exchange and saying that they're still waiting on compliance. Let me ask you a question, okay? Who's going to come out with the exchange first? Grove and their X exchange or SafeMoon with their exchange? Give me your thoughts down below. I know what I'm thinking. Green, 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 green. Okay, Yahoo Finance on this Knox, uh, Knox wire. You got this bank and you got the wire for an Apollo FinTech. Looking at what they're doing for all the different things they're doing, I'm surprised that Steve's head isn't spitting off his shoulders with all the different things. I've known Steve for years, and for God, since 2018, early, started uh, talking about Apollo and doing all the different things that they have done, including the two-second blockchain, sharded blockchain, and an all-in-one wallet. 
having all that in 2018 while these other coins are just put, having a hard time putting out wallets. Uh, Grove is taking a long time putting out the Grove Keeper, and SafeMoon took almost a year to get theirs out. You talk about what Apollo did rapidly and is still doing different things, kicking butt and putting up with a lot of coordinated FUD attacks. But they don't sit by and let it happen. You know, you look at these two, I'm not going to even mention their names, but read that title, okay? Those guys there, and then look at all the different things that they are doing together. Uh, white supremacist, uh, supposed avenger of crypto, and who's getting sued? That one right there, Danny D. Who? Okay, that guy is being sued by Apollo Fintech. This is what you got to understand with crypto. There's so many idiots out there. Look at this picture. Look at that. Okay, this guy, Ryuk, ransomware gangs, crypto broker gets light sentence. Dennis Dabrikov, Dabrikov, was sentenced to time served in a $2,000 forfeiture. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, yeah, after, what, $400,000 worth of uh, stolen uh, ransom proceeds. What a light sentence there, huh? Holy crap, a roll -off. Should I get in that business? No. Large Bitcoin investors sent $330 million in BTC to Bitfinex exchange before price dropped below 30 k That's the effect you get. And here it is. $29,498 with a little profit taking. Well, I wouldn't say a little profit taking. If that gentleman sold that $330 million, or lady, whoever hold, holds that wallet, they have over a billion worth of Bitcoin. Such a deal. <laughs> Michael Strategy Sailor refuses work email address with Bitcoin Lightning. And with that, people have been sending him 21 Satoshis. More than one, too. That's what I mean about people. He tweeted out a piece. Ooh, da, 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 da. Look at the people sending all that. Well, it adds up, doesn't it? Luna 1 was their big burn and deflationary setup. The dates coming up right here and starting April 20th, May 10th, May 24th, June 7th, and the final amount will be determined June 21st. Then look at this piece down at the bottom. The excellent burn campaign will not impact any relaunch plans, but rather provide significant benefits for the Luna One Metaverse and its holders. XLM will then become a hybrid deflationary token utilizing a deflationary utilization system. In addition to burning the substantial portion of their supply, Luna One will be revealing a powerful deflationary mechanism that creates demand for XLM while simultaneously diminishing the amount of XLM circulation. This new mechanism creates in an inverse relationship between the popularity of Luna One, its host of products, and the availability, and that is the ticket, its host of products. When you look at education and entertainment and shopping and all real estate sales, uh, yeah, ship sales, hello, Houston, I will have apartments and ships for sale on my channel for our health and wealthier future. Yes, I'm having coffee and I'm smacking my lips. Uh, when you look at their setup, it's Steve is diversified and creative. Grove is diversified and creative. So you look at all the different things they have. I cannot wait till that headquarters is built and finished and they get everything cooking for the hydroponic and aeroponic. And then get the Grove Keeper wallet out, the Grove X exchange, bada bing, bada boom, and so much more. Everybody have a great day. Any breaking news, I'll have it for you. And let me see what I have for here. Oh, yeah. Quarter one is over. Quarter two has begun. Let's get everybody kicking butt. Later, guys.